Oh, shit. Uh, I've been to the movies. That's right, I've been to the movies. And it was a theater in... Uh, let me open this up. It was a theater in Brooklyn called the Alamo Bathhouse Theaters. I'd never heard of them, but they seem like it's a big thing now. Hey, look what I bought. I bought an Alfred Hitchcock mug. Uh, revenge is sweet and not fattening. Remember, remember I got that Alfred Hitchcock movie I want to show you about? I insist it's a revolutionary movie, The Birds. I'm going to for The Birds right now. Let me, but let me get to this mug first. It's a new mug. Better put water on it. Let me, let me clear it up. Be right back. Don't go look at this. Hey, hey. Hey, you know, something that you're taught. My grandmother taught me. It's something new, you gotta rinse it out. You don't know what they've been putting in there. What kind of pesticides or whatever have you. Oh, I got, a whip. Hey, I got this Trader Joe bag. Because my little bags wouldn't do anything, but this Trader Joe bag's insulated. It, you know, like seven gallons or something, some weird thing like that. I don't know what it is. Okay. Okay, so I put everything in there. Let me take it have my, get my little sweat towel because it's hot. Yeah. Hey, but this is a movie thing. Hey, wait, let me put my red. No, yeah. I like that. Lights, camera, action. Okay, my phone out the way, turn that on. Uh, what else did I put in there? Okay. Oh, I have my glasses. Let me wear my glasses for a second. Because, you know, when I go to movies and when I drive at night, I gotta have glasses. So I wear my glasses to movies. Had a really good seat right in the middle. Whatever have you. Paul wanted to talk me about um, where to sit in the theater. Um, but yeah, I gotta drink something. I'm gonna drink this. I got this from Trader Joe's down there, along with these chips I'm gonna eat tonight. I'm gonna make me a um, salmon salad, I think. That's the Metro North that you're hearing. I'm sorry, I'm close to it. Okay, now this is something called GTS. What is this? Aqua Kefir. 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 Yeah. Uh, it's sparkling. I don't like the sparkling part. A probiotic drink with pink grapefruit, and what it says, it's supposed to, it's dedicated. Well, it's fermented. But well, it's supposed to be good for you. It's living food for the living body. It's got those probiotics in there. The ingredients: water, um, uh, uh, kefir, purified water, cane sugar, dairy-free kefir. Oh, it's that. Remember, kefir is that, that like yogurt kind of drink, you know. So I guess they do yeah, dairy-free. How do they do that? I don't know. Probiotic cultures. Uh, fresh, what is that? Press grapefruit juice. Oh, grapefruit juice, real. Do, oh, wait a second. Keep refrigerated. Do not shake. I just shook it. Anyway. Oh, I see why they say do not shake. Because it's, uh, it's carbonated. I forgot. Let me see. Well, it's not that carbonated. We're going to taste it. You and me together. See what that tastes like. Okay, so that's one thing I got. But let me tip it. It's gonna be a little long. Let me get my, I just have to do more channel. Oh, whatever. Uh, okay, so it's gonna take a little bit because, as you know, this that what I'm doing with this channel is basically I don't want this light on. It's too too hot for me. It's hot anyway. Hey, get off. Um, mixing episodes of my life with ADOS reality, and I'm gonna get to ADOS in a second. But I just, let me see, you know, see I'm reading this book. Remember I'm reading this book? This comes into play. No, it doesn't come into play, not from the movie. Now, let me just leave that right now. Oh, here's one. I told you I'm gonna have me some uh, sockeye salmon, Trader Joe's, wild caught Pacific salmon. And that's my, I'm gonna make a salmon salad. A little organic carrots, many colors. It's just carrots, it's a hydrogenated carrots. I gotta get a hydrogenated thing. Okay, so that's enough advertisement for a trade or whatever happened. Okay. Mm. I just do it with my towel. Oh, here it is. A wiping towel. I carry it with me. Oh, all throughout the day. Okay. So anyway, a good friend of mine, Jim from one of my one of my tech buddies. He told me about this theater. You know, we're gonna go later to see Sp some other time when I get back to see Spider-Man. He doesn't see Spider-Man yet, but I went to see uh, Once Upon a Time in da, 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 Hollywood, a Quentin Tarantino film. Ooh, so I'm gonna, look, to me, it is, is a combination of all his techniques and everything in this film. I want to tell you a little bit. 
there's this thing with, with, you know there's a thing sometimes you see these little things on the thing like there used to be hairs or spots on the film and that's because before they if you ever on a film set you always hear them after a take where they say checking the gate I mean, they're looking for like little hairs or anything that might destroy the film. Well, he left those. Well, I don't know. He did. He probably did it on purpose. They put that stuff in there. So that's one thing that brings you back to the 50s. Oh, if you see the movie, stay, stay a little bit past the credits. When the credits are on, stay because it's a little, little, little thing for you. And then, and in this theater, like uh, say the show that I saw was at what two o'clock, but at one thirty go in the thing. But they have these like stuff stuff in the 50s you know like wanted dead or dead or alive uh, the, the thing you know the, the promo all kinds of stuff it's really nice uh so i really enjoyed that because let me put this away this is my era this is the era i grew up in you know oh, come hot it's the era i grew up in uh, anyway so let me tell you how this whole thing started so i got it today and the first thing i had to do i had to go and get my corey holcomb tickets because corey's in town in new york at Caroline's, so I gotta go get that. So I was, I'm, bring, I'm bringing my friend of mine, uh, one of my other tech buddies, uh, 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 Grayson. He's got. I'm, I'm making him go to see Corey, right? Because, yeah, you know, these tech guys, you know, unless you drag them out, they never go into the real world. You know what I mean? I shouldn't say never, but they never go into the real world. So I'm dragging him out. Also, he's gonna. See, um, I want him to go see Hidden Colors, but I think it, something happened. I think he's got the, the later ticket. I'm going to seven o'clock, so I'm gonna try to work some out. Don't worry about that part. So when I went down to get the tickets from Caroline's, you know, the lady was just there, just boot booting up the thing. We was just talking a little bit. You know, she had done the, she had worked in film, you know, a little bit like that. So we just talked, we talked. Then I told her, we, we, we got around to the nature of film. And I was saying that, well, you know, the, the film crew, you know, it had to be solid. Blah, blah, blah. She said, yeah, that's right. You know, any little thing can set off a film crew and that'll ruin the film. People don't understand this one person. And so then I went to my whole thing. I say this all the time. this? I worked on the Sopranos as craft services, little, little thing. She worked makeup, you know. I work. Now she didn't work makeup. Sopranos, she worked makeup when she was doing in, in film sets, in film. So I, we, we both, those are the two areas that get there real early, right? Well, uh, so I work uh, the the second half of the of the of the second season, all of the third season, and a little bit of the fourth season. And so I tell her, you know, the best season of Sopranos is the third season. You know why? Because I was doing craft service. Now that might sound a little vain to you, whatever have you, but you look it up for yourself. Anyway, that, that, let's get off of that. So that was interesting because then I went down to the to the theater, and this film, uh, to me, for for Tarantino, well, I, I got turned around. I, I couldn't find where the theater was. I was looking on the the, the the phone, and it was there was no street. It ends up it's in the mall on the fourth floor. Oh, good. So I so so it took me a long time to get there, which means. I, I missed whatever show there was a, a whatever show it was, but this show that that I got to see was it was in 35 millimeter. That is a you have to see it in the palm. That's in, in 10 35 millimeter. So it's a throwback to the old days. Okay. So I was so early that I saw him futzing around. First I just bought a ticket, and then I noticed someone. I said, "Wait a second, they have a senior." Citizen. I went back. And said, hey, don't I get a senior citizen thing? So yeah, we but you have to ask for it. You know, we just don't volunteer. I said, "Oh," so they gave me five dollars back. Hey. And now I find out that not only if you go to the first show, you get a matinee price plus you get the senior citizen discount. <sighs> oh boy, I'm in heaven because I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna see some other films and and on that level, right? Anyway, back to this way. Then they had, um, they had, uh, they have these. They, they, you can rent DVDs, but I didn't know. I thought you could buy them anyway. But I'm not gonna rent any DVDs. Oh, here, Alfred Hitchcock. Oh, I didn't take this stuff off. I don't like this stuff here. Then I saw the Alfred Hitchcock cover. I said, I gotta get this because it's with that whole thing about the, the where it says, uh, Alfred Hitchcock, revenge is sweet and not fattening. Yeah. And you no, know, that Birds movie I saw about it's it's actually a revenge thing too. I won't get into that right now. So it's Alfred Hitchcock cup. So I'm gonna use this as a mug. Hmm. Gotta wash that outside. That right there. That's the Alfred thing right there. So anyway, so the movie is really good. I liked it a lot. Uh, I will tell you one thing. It's look at the title. It says once upon a time in dot 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 Hollywood. That's a key. Okay. That's a key. Just check it out. It's a Hollywood film, but the best film I still insist for me, for all of all of uh, all, all of um, Tantino's can canon, is Jackie Brown. Can't beat it for me. Okay. Oh, uh, now so, uh, uh, so also I had to get this bag. So it was really good to get this Trader Joe bag. It was really interesting because I needed a bigger bag, and I had been borrowing uh, uh, James's bag, and you know it wasn't working out for me. 
But in the film, there's one. He, there's a lot of little. There's all kinds of what, what they call a, a Easter Easter eggs, or something like that. But one Easter egg struck me. I just said, "Whoa." I don't think people are gonna get this. There's a big, and he, he, he lingers on it for quite a while where he comes back to it. There's a film called Joanna. Joanna, it's, a, it's an English film actually, called Joanna, okay? This is a film with Calvin Lockhart in it. Calvin Lockhart, one of the best, best actors ever of that, you know, black exploitation era. And just the best, just really good film actor. But this film is extraordinary, uh, Joanna. You gotta see this film, Joanna, if you can get it. J-O-A-N-N-A, -N -N -A, Joanna. Uh, so was, don't worry, just look up Joanna, look up Calvin Lockhart, Joanna, see that film. That's the ADOS angle I want to, well not the ADOS, I don't know, I think it's the ADOS. So, oh, so it was a great day. Uh, got the Corey Holcomb tickets. I think I'm gonna wear this outfit to Corey Holcomb too. And don't, though I might wear the other hat. No, I'll wear this one. I, 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 I'm even gonna wear this green or maybe another t-shirt because I want to see Corey Holcomb and you know so I look like this and he'll have to uh, you know check it out don't worry that phone will be answered see told you right away James answered right away okay so that's it that's my report for the day from uh from you know um from, you know, well, you know, for me, T from the Palace of taking a change to bed, letting you know what I only suspect from a desk of the ADOS. That would be the American descendants of chattel slavery.